here we go then, it's the question on everyone's lips. Is Netanyahu a war criminal? Oh no, not that one. Is Yusuf Bilaley going to return to the Algeria team for the Africa Cup of Nations in January? This is a big talking point. I've seen the argument for both sides. We're going to reflect on it today and come to a decision if Bilaley should return to the squad. The first thing I will say is, if it is true that the squads are being increased from 23 to 27 players, which I think will happen, then there is a case to be put forward for Yusuf Bilaley. If it's 23, he 100% does not make it. If it's 27, he's in with a chance. He's got a shout. So let's talk about him. Me and everyone, despite wanting him or not wanting him, it is not because of Bilaley's ability. There is no one that can question the ability of Yusuf Bilaley. This is a player that has delivered time and time again in an Algeria shirt. He's won an Africa Cup of Nations and he's won an Arab Cup and he was instrumental in both of those um, trophy winning runs. So this is not about is Bilaley good enough? We already know he's good enough. We've seen that he's good enough. The issues with Bilaley, as I consistently say, lie with his attitude, his behaviour in the dressing room and how he interacts with other people around him. Because a couple of was it last season when he was finally getting that big move to Europe, which we were crying out for, moved from one club in France to another because of his attitude late for training, trashed hotels, it was said by the manager. So Ajaxio and Brestois got rid of him. Two clubs in Liga. Ultimately, Bellaley got relegated and his contract was finished. He's only playing for Mouladia now, despite the, the 10 goals in eight games. Like I said, there is no doubting his ability. I know half of those are penalties and whatever. We know he's a good player. It's not about that. It's not a player that you have to bring in to see if he's good enough. We know he's good enough. He's been to AFCONs before. His attitude is the problem. And we do not want that to be reflected in our changing room. We've seen how tempers can flare. You've seen Ben Rama and Belmadi on the, on the touchline with tussles. You've seen Ben Rama and Slimani arguing over who should take a pen to him. We've seen Slimani hogging the AFCON trophy when we've won the whole thing. Okay. The problem is the attitude element. Now, if you bring in Bellaley from the sidelines, who didn't play a single minute of the qualifying, what does it say to the rest of the squad? Well, last time out for the Cameroon one, Yassine Brahimi didn't play a single minute of the qualifying. Based off the Arab Cup, Belomadi took him to the competition and we didn't win a game. I'm fearful that could happen. Now, if Bellaley was to go, he certainly is not a starter because the front three has to be, and I'll be annoyed if it's not, it's going to be probably Mares on the right, Guiri on the left, and Amora up top. That has to be, it has to be, I don't care where they're playing, it has to be Guiri, Amora, Mares. That is the best front three. Mahrez, whether you think he should be starting or not, is the captain and is the first name on the team sheet, according to the manager, okay? Guiri and Amora are the two best attackers. Guiri scored again this weekend in, in Liga. Amora is the best Algeria player in an Algeria shirt of the past 12 to 18 months, okay? And he went to the last AFCON and Amora and he didn't score a goal because he didn't play a minute. So, Belaley doesn't start. He doesn't get in that front three. Belaley's best play from the wing comes with his chemistry with Baghdad, Bunajah. Bunaja isn't going to start either. So it doesn't make sense to take Bilaley. If you want to take him for what he can bring to the dressing room and his vibes and his, his advice to the younger players, I've never been to an AFCON like Shaibi, like Awa, like Kate Nori, I totally get it. I just don't want that dressing room to be disrupted. And certainly if Bilaley was to go to the tournament, which I wouldn't be opposed to it, I just think there are better options, then he won't be a starter, he might play a third group game if we're already through, he might come on as a substitute if we need him to break games down. Him off the bench might be better than starting him. The impact he can bring, the unpredictability might be a good thing. So the question I pose to you is, and leave it in the comments down below because I'm interested to see the split. Would you take Bilaley to this African? I'm not saying over Ben Rama, I'm not saying over Adam Unnes, I'm not saying over Buenani. It doesn't matter who it's over. I'm saying would you take him in the 27-man squad, yes or no? So let me know your thoughts and um, by latest January 3rd, we'll see if Belmadi makes the big call. It'll be a big call to leave him out or to take him. It's a big call. We'll see what he does. So let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.